Hi everyone, back with Bassington's. I hope you're well, I hope you're keeping safe. Well, as promised, what we're going to do is we're going to test my Beretta 694 against a vastly superior gun, the Kriegoff K80 Supersport. As the saying goes, let the battle of the guns commence. What we're shooting with today, chaps, is the Hull Superfast 28 grams over 7.5. I think these are incredible cartridges, very, very good value. They're sort of a, an entry-level cartridge, but they are absolutely superb. So we're just going to shoot uh, both the Beretta 694 and the Kriegoff K80 Supersport with these cartridges. Hi guys, well we finished the test and um, I'm going to go back to the ranch and score each gun accordingly. And here we are back at the ranch to do the review of the Beretta 694 Sporter against the Kriegoff uh, K80. Now the gun I reunited against was uh, John's uh, K80 Custom Gold, picture of it coming up now, which I unboxed a few days ago. Uh, the reason I chose that gun is John has a very similar frame to me in height and build and although it was right-handed the gun fitted me very well i mean i have to say that gun is absolutely stunning uh, on a side issue i think it might be for sale um, and if anybody's interested you know just get in contact with me and i'll put you in touch with john if it was a left-handed gun i would buy it all day long i'm, I'm just absolutely in love with that gun um, so that's why I chose that particular gun. Similarly, my left-handed 694 Sporter um, fitted John very well too. Now, what I've done is I've broken this down into five categories and scored each category 20. And um, we'll start with Beretta and then move on to Kriegoff. So the first category is the brand. And we talk about the brand. We look at the brand values, the after-sales service, the network, the distribution, everything like that. And... Um, you know, I've got to give Beretta a 20. They are the oldest uh, gun maker in the world. Uh, they have a fantastic array of other brands. They manufacture firearms. They've just acquired Holland and Holly, Holland, sorry, Holland and Holland. And, um, you know, I don't think there's a, a, a better uh, a brand out there in, in the shotgun world. Now, Kriegoff, yeah, again, fantastic uh, long history. You know, they're family owned. They make amazing shotguns. Uh, but obviously don't quite have the distribution of Beretta. They have great after-sales service and, you know, they're not that well known. They're very well known within the shotgun community, but step outside that, not, not that well known. So I'm going to give Kriegoff an 18 out of 20. Um, value for money. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You can buy a right-handed um, uh, 694 with an adjustable comb new for about £3,600. It is exceptional value for money. I'm going to score it a 20 out of 20. Now, I realised I couldn't compare John's uh, K80 Custom Gold to the Beretta 694. So what I did is I spec'd a K80 Super Sport, you know, pretty basic wood, um, a pretty basic uh, um, plain action, on it, and it was coming out at about fourteen thousand four hundred and fifty pounds, uh, roughly about eleven thousand pounds more. Uh, it's obviously a considerably dearer gun, but you know it is a better engineered gun than the Beretta. So value for money, um, I'm going to give it an eighteen. It's still a very good, respectable score. Creedos do hold a value. They are rock solid uh, residuals on them. However, they are very expensive guns to buy. We now sort of move into the more uh, technical um, aspect of it. I'm going to talk about the action and the barrels. And this will surprise a few people. The Beretta's action and the barrels were exceptional. It even surprised me. I think what's happening is obviously all the technology that was developed in the DT-11 range is transcending itself down like with the Stelium Pro barrels. I'm going to give Beretta here a 20 out of 20. Similarly, the Kriegoff 
well, legendary lockup action, superb barrels that are floating that you can adjust. No surprises here. I'm going to give Kriegoff a 20 out of 20. Then we're going to talk about the handling and the recoil. Um, you know, I found the Beretta an exceptionally well handling gun. It was just beautifully balanced, but you did feel the recoil a little on that gun. That I cannot deny. So I'm going to score the Beretta 18 out of 20. This is the difference. This is where the Krieg off. You could see the engineering coming through. The gun, although a similar weight, felt a lot lighter. It really did. And, you know, if you're going to a competition clay day and putting a lot of cartridges through, you will not tire with that gun. And also the recoil. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It was just beautiful. You felt nothing on the recall. So the Kriegov scores a 20 out of 20. Then we come to the last section, which is the trigger. Uh, the Beretta 694 has an adjustable trigger. Um, it was really good. Um, I'm going to give it a 16 out of 20. But the Kriegov, I don't think there's a better trigger on the market, quite frankly. I mean, it's adjustable, but it was so clean and crisp. It was just amazing. Uh, the pulls on that were just exceptional. I'm going to score the Krieg of 20 out of 20. So when you top up the scores, um, the Beretta 694 gets 94 out of 100. The Krieg of K80 gets 96 out of 100. And I think this proves the point in a vlog I said a few months ago, I felt the Beretta 694 could hold its own against more expensive guns. And that is what it has done today. Um, I'm not under contract or sponsorship by Beretta or any any uh, distributor or anything like that, you know, GMK, anybody like that. This is just my own views. I think value for money. I think it is the best uh, sporting shotgun out on the market today. And I think Beretta have really raised the bar uh, with this gun. You know, there's a lot of other mid-range uh, makers out there that will be looking over the shoulder. I honestly think it's that good a gun. Now with Kriegoff, there is no better, um, you know, in my opinion, in the sporting world, there's no better shotgun maker in the world than, um, than Kriegoff. Uh, the K80 is exceptional. For me, I couldn't justify the expense of putting that extra money into it. I mean, for the simple reason, you know, I'm not shooting two or three times a week. Although I have to admit, if John's gun was left-handed, I'd buy it all day long. So there you have it. Beretta 694, an exceptional value gun. But yeah, Kriegoff, without a doubt, is the best shotgun maker in the sporting world. Stay safe and stay tuned.